Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the gaskets on an OEM TCT or timing chain tensioner. I'm also going to show you how to properly retract the piston in preparation for installation. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is remove the timing chain tensioner. If you need help removing your timing chain tensioner, I've got you covered with videos that will be linked down below. Once the timing chain tensioner is out, you'll want to place it on a workbench with a shop towel underneath. As you work on it, it will slowly bleed oil and make a mess. The timing chain tensioner has three different rubber gaskets. There are two circular o-rings as you can see here, and then there is a third triangular o-ring inside of the inspection cover. If you look closely at my o-rings, you can see that the outer surface has been permanently flattened, which increases the risk of leaking. Pry off the old rubber o-rings, apply some oil to the new rubber o-rings, and slide the new rubber o-rings onto the timing chain tensioner body. In order to replace the third o-ring, you'll have to remove the timing chain tensioner inspection cover. Clamp the timing chain tensioner in a soft jaw vise with the NTN logo turned counterclockwise. You'll want to make sure that you don't clamp the inspection cover as well. Once firmly clamped, use a 10mm socket to remove the two bolts securing the inspection cover in place. Once the bolts are removed, the inspection cover should slide right off. If it doesn't, you can use a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to separate it from the timing chain tensioner body. Similarly to the other o-rings, you can see that the outer surface of this o-ring has been permanently flattened, which means it's no longer doing its job. Pry out the old rubber o-ring, apply some oil to the new rubber o-ring, and slide the new rubber o-ring into the timing chain tensioner inspection cover. Now before you reinstall the timing chain tensioner inspection cover, you'll want to retract the timing chain tensioner piston while you're here. Retracting the piston is necessary in order to reinstall the timing chain tensioner back into the cylinder head. You'll see what I mean later. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the oil bolt. Once the oil bolt is removed, you'll want to thread a 50mm long bolt with a nut and flat washer attached into the body of the timing chain tensioner. Once the bolt is threaded, push the piston back into the timing chain tensioner while simultaneously tightening the bolt. You should see the piston retract back into the timing chain tensioner. You can then tighten the nut against the body of the timing chain tensioner to lock the piston in place. It will be a little tough, but you're going to want to retract the piston far enough that it sits behind the two holes on the end of the timing chain tensioner body. Once the piston is locked into place with the lock nut, you'll want to insert a cotter pin or part of a paper clip through the two holes to block the piston from expanding back out. Make sure that the locking pin isn't wider than the timing chain tensioner body or else it won't fit into the cylinder head. Now that the timing chain tensioner piston is properly retracted, you can loosen the nut and bolt and remove the washer as well. Use a flathead screwdriver to reinstall the oil bolt. Torque it to 4 foot-pounds. Then use a 10mm socket to reinstall the two bolts securing the timing chain tensioner inspection cover in place. Torque them to 8.7 foot-pounds. It is important that these bolts are evenly torqued so that the gasket does not leak. The last thing you'll have to do is reinstall the timing chain tensioner. If you need help reinstalling your timing chain tensioner, I've got you covered with videos that will be linked down below. 
If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below with a video you'd like to see in the future.